The house was built in 1917. A lot of the stuff in the house, because the family's been here since 1877, old timers didn't throw things away. You, you always assumed that there'd be a use for something, so you set it aside. We had enough children. There, there was a child for every bedroom upstairs. We even had one that slept in the attic. And yeah. as they moved out, he just took over and put all his stuff everywhere. <laughs> What was the first thing you'd say from a fire? Good grief. <laughs> We've got a room full of uh, family records, so we'd have to try to rush out. They were selling these things, almost giving them away, so we started buying gramophones. Now we've got over 50 or 60 of them. <laughs> How long have you been collecting? <laughs> Probably 50 years. It's one of the things we got at antique sales and antique auctions. But a lot of these I've actually canned in at some time. How long have you been married for? Do you remember? <laughs> yes. A long I was time. waiting to see if he remembered. Well, it's, it's over 50 years. <laughs> you get overwhelmed by how much stuff uh, you have? You got, it, you got that one right. <laughs> totally overwhelmed. <laughs> I decided I was going to sort it out when I retired, and I've never got around to retiring, so we're sorting now every chance we get. I've been sorting for a year and hardly made a dent into it. There's about three or four of us in BC that have major collection of dairy artifacts, and this is one of the major ones. And we never really intended to collect irons, but we ended up with lots of them. These are the seeds that uh, grow and save and sell. Actually, they're, they're hoping to build, they, they don't have much of a museum, and so they're hoping to build a new museum, and we're just hoping, please, build a museum. <laughs> well, they get rid of this stuff. <laughs> We're restoring the house to have a major uh, restoration completed by 2017 when the house is 100 years old. <laughs> and you're invited to the party. <laughs>